Hey everybody, what's going on? Master of Life 25 here. And you might guess. One second. So, I'm um, sorry. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool animation with Minimator. First, you want to open up Minimator. If you don't have that, a uh, link will be in the description. I think it brings you to. I think you download a dot zip and open up Minimator. So first things first, you need to add a character if you want it to be a character. You can model it to a witch, silverfish, squid, human, but I'm going to stay with human. You go default, or if you want a skin, you can go default or browse. Since I already have all where my skins are, let's go picks. Um, oh wait, first actually so first of all you need to know the basics so once you have a character the timeline here timeline I'm gonna click there and it should add a little um, 40 is it yeah 45 uh, degree turned square and what you can do with this is position rotation you can scale it, alpha, overlay, and transition. And if you want to bend some arms, first let's get closer. For, um, so you hold right click to do some stuff. You can left click to circle around. Mouse wheel to zoom. Yeah, so just pause if you want to know the controls. Okay, so way to bend your arm go you gotta go up to where the body is and you can click arm or you can click the arm go down to bending and you can decide how much you want to bend it like that and then we'll make his arm like um, yeah, also, you can click and move it with your mouse scroll. Let's make his arm go like this. And then you could select another one. One second. There. Then you could... Oh, there we go. And we could, like, move it. and like unbend it a bit if we want then we can add another one and if you want to reset it reset part if you want to start reset everything but that will move the character back to where um where you spawned it you could do that now what this is it's repeating so let's say we wanted to watch it it would just repeat over and over and as you can see it's going way too fast for us to see what it's doing that's where the tempo comes in the more you move it back the slower it goes like one and then fifty I for this I would prefer like five oh for five and then we could play it Yeah, so that's our little animation. To make him walk a certain way, we can like do that and move the body like all the way over there. Now we select this one, right click, create walk animation to the next keyframe, and it should add all of these selected ones. Now, what you can do is you can move all the way to the beginning and watch as he walks so then you don't have to bend all your arms and stuff <laughs> I learned this after I made all of my uh, my first animation and then yeah so that's the basics and um, I actually haven't published this um, thing yet 
but what this is is it's called Super Me. I have a bunch of different ones. Um, so what you can do is um, if you go to instances, you'll see all this. And usually this camera will have this just like finger one. I tried to make fingers but it didn't work. So then you can click that and it would finally let you control the camera. And then um what scenery is it's like I don't wanna build all this so I decided to make scenery out of it. So, um, so let's play it. So I put an arrow in here. It's, this is <coughs> the best animation. Get the demon gets it. He decides to teleport. And then he teleports back. And then he starts to fly away. So yeah, that's super me. And uh, then we have Ant. Can you're talking way too loud, so yeah, they can kind of hear. You. No, wait. Yeah, I don't want to show this one. This one's kind of animation. Oh yeah, I messed this one up with a blank one. Had one with uh, me and me and my friend in it. Um, Hunger Games. Um, I'm actually still working on this. Um, the way how you can make the eyes is first you need to know the skin that you're going to do. So skins, let's say we wanted this guy to, um, this guy to have like moving eyes. You're going to want to, um, open with a paint or paint.net. I prefer paint.net, but... In this case, I'll be uh, showing. Um, actually, in this case, I'll be showing paint on that. Okay, sorry about that. Now, I have paint.net open. Um, install will also be in there. Also, sorry for the lack of thumbnails. It's just. Yeah. So, what you're gonna need to do. You're gonna need to uh, tool eraser, and let's say wait first. Um, color picker, select this. Let's do a pencil. Pencil actually does a complete pixel on this. Sorry. Um, so like you can get your eraser, and like let's say you want the eyes there, and wait, that's an awful job. So then you could. Oh God, that was that's an awful one. You gotta like find. Yeah, I guess that would do. So once you get it correctly and you don't fail like me, actually, let's try something. Let's go cut down the paintbrush and let's go do 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 do. Yeah, one works exactly perfect. Um, just gonna have to click it a bunch of times though. And then there, there's your eyes. I'm not gonna save. Okay. Yes. There. Wait, what? What's this? Okay, preparing to install. Okay. So, the way how we do it is first, uh, this is. Stop. So, first, um, let me um, spawn a new character. And let's call him. Um, tutorial. And 
and um, first let's go down a bit. Tutorial. Let's move them over here. Then what you gotta do is you gotta select the skin that you selected. So skin. I already have it. Um, I made a hole in the mouth as well for um, this. I'm trying to get teeth to work. So what you want to do is um, you gotta fly, find something that's like completely white. Um, um, so like, will this work? I don't think so, but, um, grass, let's just use snow for now. I have like a different thing, but I don't want to do this like forever and ever. So once I get the snow, uh, let's go down, select block one. And then um, we can move this over, turn it, wait, that forward, and you can see it's way too big. So that's where we can get scale, and let's cut it down to like 30, or 3, and maybe actually a bit small, but... That's all right. This is just a tutorial. Just wait and pause. Sorry, I'm back. Just had to eat. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. So yeah, you could put the snow as big until it can actually fit on it. Now, what you should do first is lock it to parent and put it to player's head. You know, And what it would do is it would be much easier to um, sorry I'm getting lost. So um you wanna add oh you wanna go oh I don't want any of that. I'm gonna go all the way up, add block block for this, we'll put lapis. And let's duplicate that. And then, first we'll lock the parent and put it as head. Okay, you did something wrong. Copy. Or lock the parent no. There. Uh where is it? Block um character um head um one second. Oh I'm getting text messages everywhere. No 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 no. You don't want this guy as your parent. You want? Uh, sorry about that. You want to uh, put the block there, scale it down, and now it just looks like pupils. What you can do is um, put both of them in there and like move it around like this. You kind of you get the point. I'm running out of time. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope it helped you. Excuse me. And uh, see you all later. Goodbye.